At the University of Washington Medical Center, Dr. Tori Andrews is preparing to perform an endovascular procedure called vein ablation. I think everybody knows somebody with really bad varicose veins, painful swelling of the legs and those big ropey vessels that look so bad and, and can bleed and, and cause a lot of discomfort. There are cosmetic concerns, of course, but seeking treatment is far more than a question of vanity. Venous hypertension, this reflux condition involving veins, can be really dramatic in terms of the impact that it has on patients. It can cause tremendous pain. It can cause skin changes up to and including ulcers, just spontaneous breakdown of the skin. See the way that lights up? I squeeze uh -huh. your calf and when I let go, you see all this flow coming back through the vein. That's abnormal. Ultrasound enables Dr. Andrews to map out the course of the vein he'll be treating. Vein ablation involves using a laser, which seals the defective vein shut without removing it from the leg. With vein ablation, what we're able to do is to put a little tiny laser fiber inside that vein and then basically seal the vein closed entirely from the inside. So the whole procedure is done with a puncture at the, at the knee that a couple of days later you won't even be able to find. Patients are able to basically get off the table at the end of the procedure and walk out the door. All Wanda feels is a little bit of pressure. That's it. When the procedure is finished, no stitches will be necessary. Just checking to make sure that the vein is shut down and I don't see any remnant of it there, so that looks really good. Now all we'll do now is put on a Band-Aid and put on your compression stockings and send you home. Okay.